Hello there, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope that you will stick around. So today I'm gonna be doing a pin tag with you guys and it is a Thanksgiving pin tag. This tag was created by the Disney sisters, the Disney housewife and irresistible magic. But I was tagged by my dear friend Becca, AKA Disney Kitty. I will have a link to her channel posted down below. So initially I wasn't really gonna do this tag even though I saw some people had done it and I thought it was really cool, but I figured I'm too busy right now. There's just so much going on in my life, so many changes. Anyway, I wasn't gonna do the tag, but then I thought that's exactly why I should do it. I should stop and appreciate all the things that I'm thankful for and spread some positivity and good vibes. And this one is a positive, cheerful tag that involves pins. So that is something that always makes me very happy. It is simple, only seven questions. So without further ado, let's get into it. Question number one says, it is time for traditions. Share a pin that represents a family tradition. So I had to think about this one because I was trying to think of something that we do that is more unique. And I came up with this pin. It is a limited edition of 1500 pin from 2003 and it's a turkey hunt. And you can see that Pluto is outside hunting for turkeys. And this is a pin that I absolutely love. And before you're like, what? Let me explain. We do not hunt turkeys. The thing is, my family and I do spend a lot of time outside on Thanksgiving because we live in South Florida. We're not always inside. It's normally warm weather around Thanksgiving here. So we go outside and we play games, mainly dominoes because we're Latin. So my family is very big into dominoes. As a matter of fact, my grandfather is a dominoes champion at Calle Ocho. He was featured in our newspaper and everything. So that's a tradition that I could say we normally do every year. We go outside and play dominoes. I did not have any pin with dominoes. So this was the next best thing. Pluto is outdoors playing a turkey hunt game. And I should say that most of the pins that I'm about to show you uh, are featuring Pluto because Pluto is my main pin collection and specifically I collect Pluto holiday pins. So Pluto Thanksgiving pins, I have quite a few of. Question number two, pass the pumpkin pie, share a pin with either a pie or a pumpkin on it. So I told myself as an extra challenge, I was going to try to pick pins that were different than the ones that my friend Becca picked. And I have the one that she picked, and that would have been my first option because there's a huge pie on it. <laughs> but I found this one that also features a pie. I don't know if it's a pumpkin pie, I imagine so. And there are other things on the table as well. It's a feast. It is the Muppets having a happy Thanksgiving dinner. This one is from last year, 2018, and it's also a limited edition pin. But as you can see, there is a pie. Now, I also have a few pumpkin pins, but those are mainly featuring Pluto, so I figured I would find something a little different since, as I said, most of my pins that I'm showing you are already featuring Pluto. So, this one is from the Muppets. It was from last year. I really liked it, so I picked it up. Question number three. Gather around the table, share a pin with a feast fit for Thanksgiving. Now, the pin that I just showed you fits this category perfectly, but I found another pin that I really, really love. And it is my girl, Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And this is based, I imagine, on the scene of Be Our Guest. And I absolutely love, love that scene. It is such a happy song. So they made it into a Thanksgiving feast at this point, or it could also be a Christmas feast. Anyway, this is a WDI pin limited edition of 250 and this is one of my favorite pins in my collection i love this pin so much it's such a happy pin as i said and you know it reminds me of one of my favorite parts of one of my favorite disney movies and Belle is looking just so pretty speaking of being thankful and grateful question number four says let's give thanks share a pin of something that you are thankful for so there are so many things that i could choose that i am thankful for I am very, very blessed. I know that. But uh, I chose this pin because I really, really love it. It brings me all the happy feels. 
It is Mickey and Minnie dressed as pilgrims and they are putting out the turkey and there is Pluto as well and also in case you don't notice Chip and Dale are sitting on Mickey's hat. This is a Thanksgiving pin from 2006 and it is a limited edition of 500 I believe and this is easily one of my favorite pins in my collection. It reminds me of my little family right now. As of now it's my husband, my puppy Jasper and me and as a matter of fact and this is maybe a little sad but it's it's also something to to be thankful for in general um, but this Thanksgiving for the first time in forever my family and I won't be together on Thanksgiving and this is something we decided because life is just complicated for a lot of us right now we are all working different schedules and I'm working that day I'm working the next day this is not really a tradition, but it's something that, that I should put as my family tradition. I work every Thanksgiving. I've worked for Thanksgiving for as long as I can remember. But um, this year, uh, my grandfather is actually at the hospital and he's battling a hip break. And the doctors could not operate because uh, they don't think he would survive a surgery. So he's going to be at the hospital and we're all going to try to pass by the hospital at whatever time we can because again, we all kind of work different schedules. And it would also be a lot of pressure to put, especially on my grandmother, to try to be, you know, in the Thanksgiving spirit and, and cook or, or, you know, it's, it's always work. It's good work to spend with family, but, but it does take work. And we all got to take uh, turns passing by the hospital. So this year we decided we're not going to get together for Thanksgiving. But I am very thankful that they are all a car drive away. I mean... Even though we're not going to be together physically, we are together in the same city. And that's something I'm incredibly thankful for. Um, I know this is being a long speech, but I mean, just, just telling you what's going on in my life and why I feel like Thanksgiving this year is going to be a little different, but I'm still very grateful for everything that I have. And I'm, I'm holding on to that feeling of thankfulness because sometimes it's very easy to get sidetracked, especially when life is changing, when things are getting complicated. But that's the other thing I'm going to. I will be spending Thanksgiving with my mini family, which is my puppy and my husband, and I am just so grateful for them. They are my everything. I am so incredibly grateful. I can't believe how lucky I am to have found such an incredible person in my life. I don't know. I must have done something amazing in my past life. I don't know what it was, but my husband is the best human I have ever met, and he chose me, so I'm that lucky. I'm also thankful for all of you, and I gotta say that, and at this point, I would like to ask you for something. I would really, really love all your prayers and good thoughts and pixie dust that you can send my way, not for me, for my grandfather. I'm really, really hoping he gets out of the hospital in time for, for Christmas and we can, you know, get together again as a family. But anyway, to wrap it up, because I know I've gone on and on forever, uh, this year is going to be my husband, my puppy, and me sharing a Thanksgiving meal, which will be turkey, which I won't be cooking. I don't know. We'll buy something. We'll figure that out. Uh, we will not be dressed as pilgrims and we won't have chipmunks, but there are plenty of squirrels around here, so I mean, if that counts. But as I just said, my family, my loved ones in general, including you guys, are the one thing that I am most thankful for. But I want to cheat a little bit on this category and I want to show another pin, something that I'm also grateful for. And okay, this is Little Reporter Mickey. It's a great pin. I love this pin. He is at Disneyland and there's a USA flag on top as well and he seems to be reporting the news back in the days. This one is a limited edition pin that my husband got for me a while back because I'm a news reporter. I am a TV news reporter and as I just complained a little, <laughs> my job I feel keeps me from my family and from things that I want to do many times. And I feel like sometimes I resent it a little and, you know, this is something that the people that are closest to me know. Um, but at the same time, I couldn't imagine myself doing anything else. I love what I do and I am extremely thankful 
that I am where I am. It's very hard to juggle this type of job with a family. Again, there are barely no days off. You don't get Thanksgiving off. You don't get Christmas Day off. This is what I signed up for though, and I think you really gotta love it. But I do love it, and I am grateful. I am grateful that everything I set out to achieve, I have achieved. I need new goals. I need to keep reinventing myself. I need new challenges. But for right now, I am very grateful for where I am. And I can tell you right now, I this is what I wanted to be, and this is where I wanted to be since I was 10 years old. So I'd rather manage the stress but be where I am, if that makes sense. This video is getting way too long. I apologize for that. <laughs> if you're here for the pins and you just wanted a quick video, I, I am truly sorry. If you've been watching my channel for a while and you, you don't mind me venting for a little bit, thank you. I appreciate you. But let's get to question number five, and that is after dinner nap, share a pin with a sleeping character or a Disney resort where you'd like to take a nap. Well, I will tell you right now what the Disney resort I would like to take a nap in, and that is the Grand Floridian. I've never stayed there, and that's the one resort I would like to stay at, maybe in the future. But I found this pin with my guy Pluto taking a nap, and Mickey is kind of sleepy as well. And this is a Christmas pin, so it's one pin looking at the future. Maybe, you know, they stayed up on Thanksgiving already already put together all the Christmas decorations, but I love, love, love this pin. It says, Mickey's was the night before Christmas, and it is from 2002, so pretty old pin, but I got it like two years ago, if I'm not mistaken. I just, I love this pin, and I love like everything Christmas and reading, you know, it was the night before Christmas and all through the house. It just brings all the good feels. I love that Pluto is napping and Mickey's ready to go to bed. It's like, Totally my family here, Jasper usually goes to bed first and we're like, okay, maybe it is time for bed. I will tell you though, I cannot take a nap after I have a big meal. Personally, for me, that's really bad. I feel like my food doesn't really digest as well. Um, I mean, I get sleepy. Obviously, I would love to take a nap, but I feel like when I do give in and go to sleep right after I eat a big meal, I wake up feeling like bleh. I feel like the food is sitting right here, it didn't digest well or something. I don't know, does that happen to anyone else or is it just me? No, no, but I'd rather stay up, maybe put up some Christmas decorations or stay with family, hanging out, watching a movie, and then go to bed a little later after, you know, burning off some of that food. Question number six, Black Friday shopping, share a pin with shopping represented. So I think I went a little bit of a different route here. Uh, this is doesn't seem like it's exactly Black Friday shopping, but Minnie could have been shopping for the Thanksgiving feast. And it is Minnie running around with Pluto and she is carrying some grocery bags. In the background, there seems to be some stores. It's funny because the little fish on top says pescados, which means fish in Spanish. So I wonder where she's at. It looks like the boardwalk because you can see the Epcot ball and this is a pin from the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival from 2005. So many years have gone by, huh? It seems just massive now. But anyway, that, that's the route that I'm going for my shopping because I haven't really done any Black Friday shopping except online. I do shop online, but actually go to the stores. I don't. It's not a tradition of mine anymore. I used to when I was way younger. But grocery shopping, yes, all the time. I'm more domesticated. I feel like I identify with this pin a lot more now. It's like walking my dog, going to get groceries, you know. And if by any chance I could be doing that at Disney World, what could be better than that? And we've made it to the last question, number seven. If you've stuck around with me for this long, thank you. You're a true friend. So question number seven says, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, share a Christmas pin. And I know I just uh, showed you the one with Mickey and Pluto and they're going to sleep around Christmas, but I picked another one to end this tag with and it's a, it's a very happy pin, I think. It is the Fat Five decorating a Christmas tree. You have Pluto, Donald, Goofy, Mickey, and Minnie. Most of them are holding uh, Christmas ornaments. Donald, of course, not looking very, very thrilled, but he's hanging in there. This one is from the Shanghai Disney Resort, a limited edition of 800. 
and it is something that I'm excited for and looking forward to, you know, putting up the Christmas tree, spending time with friends and family. As I have been saying, what the holidays are all about. It's magical. And that is everything. This was supposed to be a shorter video, but I think it got extended a little bit, but I hope that's okay. I will link everybody's channel down below, my very good friend, Disney Kitty, Becca, and I'll link the uh, original creators of this tag down below as well. I'm gonna tag some people. I don't know if they've been tagged or not, but I'm just gonna mention them anyway, and I don't even know if they'll have time to do this, but if you can squeeze it into your busy schedules, I would love to see it. Number one, I'm gonna tag my friend Karen from Karen USA Adventures. Two, I'm gonna tag Megan from Mickey's Magic. And three, my friend Rita from Enchanted Rita. But really, if you're watching this and you have a YouTube channel or an Instagram or, you know, any kind of social media and you want to share it, by all means, please do. And I would love to watch it. You can say I tagged you. That's totally okay. I am tagging you. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you are enjoying your Thanksgiving fall season. Thank you for being a part of my channel. I will see you on the next video. In the meantime, take care. Be good. Ciao. This was the next best. best. Bah, 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 bah. Oh my gosh, I gotta sneeze. Ah. Stop. Seven and fifth. <coughs> oh my goodness. Ah.